However, the world did not remain static. Approximately 55 million years ago, the Titanoboa went extinct, likely due to a combination of climate shifts and ecological changes. The Earth underwent significant temperature fluctuations, transitioning from a period of intense heat to an eventual cooling that reshaped habitats and food sources. During the Paleocene Thermal Maximum, PTM, a brief but intense warming period, global temperatures soared by as much as 8 degrees Celsius 14 degrees Fahrenheit. In these conditions, the oceans became warm and acidic, leading to mass extinctions of marine life, particularly single-celled organisms. While it is possible that some titanoboas thrived during this heat spike, the long-term consequences of climate change likely posed insurmountable challenges. As temperatures began to decline, the lush, tropical environments that supported the titanoboa transformed into cooler, more temperate ecosystems. This cooling trend marked the end of an era for many species, including the titanoboa. Without the warm environments necessary for its survival, the titanoboa eventually succumbed to extinction. Now, let's imagine a scenario where the titanoboa did not go extinct. By considering the adaptations it would need to survive in a world that has changed dramatically since its time, we can explore the intriguing possibilities of its existence. If the Titanoboa had managed to survive, it would have faced a variety of environmental changes over millions of years. As the Earth continued to warm and cool, the Titanoboa would have needed to adapt to new habitats and food sources. One of the most significant adaptations could have been the evolution of warm-blooded characteristics. While snakes today are cold-blooded, some reptiles and fish exhibit partial warm-blooded traits. If the Titanoboa developed the ability to regulate its body temperature, it could thrive in a wider range of environments. This adaptation would allow it to maintain its metabolic functions even in cooler temperatures, expanding its hunting grounds beyond tropical regions. As ecosystems evolved, so too would the Titanoboa's diet. Initially, it would continue to hunt aquatic prey, but as land mammals diversified, it might have transitioned to a more varied diet, including larger land animals. This shift would require the Titanoboa to develop new hunting techniques and skills, potentially even becoming an ambush predator on land. To adapt to changing habitats, the Titanoboa would likely develop enhanced camouflage abilities. In different environments, it could take on colors and patterns that blend with its surroundings, whether in dense forests, open plains, or deserts. This would make it an even more effective predator, allowing it to lie in wait until the perfect moment to strike. Now, let's envision a world where the Titanoboa has successfully adapted and thrived alongside humans. What would this mean for our interactions with such a formidable creature? The reintroduction of the Titanoboa into today's ecosystems could have profound implications for biodiversity. As a top predator, it would help regulate populations of various species, potentially restoring balance to ecosystems that have been disrupted by human activity. However, its presence would also pose challenges for smaller mammals and reptiles, leading to shifts in population dynamics. If the Titanoboa existed today, human interaction with it would likely be complex and fraught with fear. Coastal communities might regard the Titanoboa as a terrifying menace, leading to a culture of avoidance and respect for the waters and swamps it inhabits. Swimming in these areas would be an act of bravery, with the potential for encounters with this giant snake looming large in the minds of locals. As humans developed better tools and hunting techniques, the Titanoboa might become a target for fishermen and hunters. Its massive size would make it an attractive catch, leading to a complicated relationship between humans and this ancient predator. Over time, conservation efforts would likely arise to protect the Titanoboa, driven by a mix of fear, respect, and fascination. The Titanoboa's existence would also influence culture and mythology. It could become a symbol of nature's power and resilience, inspiring stories, art, and folklore. Communities might develop rituals or practices to honor the Titanoboa, treating it as a guardian of the natural world. Despite the potential for coexistence, many challenges would arise if the Titanoboa were to return. The effects of human activity on the environment 
including habitat destruction, pollution, and climate change, would pose significant threats to its survival. The rapid urbanization and deforestation occurring in many parts of the world today would lead to habitat loss for the Titanoboa. As its natural environments are destroyed, the snake would be forced to adapt to fragmented ecosystems, making it harder to find food and mates. The Titanoboa's success is closely tied to its access to prey. The overfishing of aquatic species and the decline of other wildlife due to habitat loss would create food shortages. If its primary food sources diminished, the Titanoboa would struggle to survive, leading to potential conflicts with other predators and species. As global temperatures continue to rise, the Titanoboa would face further challenges. While it might initially thrive in warming conditions, extreme weather events and habitat shifts could disrupt its life cycle. The creature's reliance on specific environmental conditions makes it vulnerable to the unpredictable nature of climate change. The hypothetical existence of the Titanoboa in the modern world serves as a cautionary tale about our relationship with nature. It reminds us of the fragility of ecosystems and the consequences of our actions. The extinction of the Titanoboa was likely a result of a combination of natural events, but humans have the power to influence the future of species today. To prevent further extinctions and protect the biodiversity that remains, we must prioritize conservation efforts. This includes habitat restoration, sustainable practices, and education about the importance of all species within ecosystems. By valuing the interconnectedness of life, we can strive to maintain the delicate balance that sustains our planet. The Titanoboa's legacy should inspire a deeper respect for the natural world. As we navigate the challenges posed by climate change and habitat destruction, we must recognize the consequences of our choices. Understanding the role of apex predators like the Titanoboa in maintaining ecological balance can guide our efforts to protect and restore habitats. While the Titanoboa may have disappeared from the Earth millions of years ago, its legacy endures in our imaginations and scientific inquiries. Imagining its survival invites us to reflect on the intricate relationships between species and the environments they inhabit. As we confront the pressing issues of today, such as climate change and habitat destruction, the Titanoboa serves as a reminder of the resilience of life and the importance of safeguarding our natural heritage. In a world where the Titanoboa existed alongside humans, we would be compelled to reassess our relationship with nature and recognize the profound impact of our actions. The reimagined Titanoboa challenges us to consider a future where humanity learns to coexist with the giants of the past, fostering a deeper understanding of the natural world and our place within it.